Aries, you guys are next for a new moon in Cancer Weed. So as soon as I get technical difficulty here. Okay, here we go. So for the collective sign of Aries. Here we go. Let's pray. Great Creator, Father God, Divine Mother, Mother Mary, Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides. Just pray and ask for wisdom and clarity and for any messages that need to come through for the collective sign of Aries. For this, their new moon in Cancer Weed. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, new moon is going to be this Friday. The energy of the new moon. It's usually like three days before, three days after. Um, it's usually like up to six days before, after, something like that. Three to, I would say three to six. Like this new moon is very, I already feel it, emotional, and it's yeah. Who stay grounded and pray. That's all we can do. Okay, so Aries, a time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo. Move here for just a little bit. And surrender to the divine full moon. Okay, so when I see this like this, I don't rarely point this out. If I see new moon and a full moon, or two new moons or two full moons, like to me, it, it sometimes they'll point out to me like a cycle. This looks like a cycle, okay? So, um, I feel like the time to give rather than take is this new moon. The full moon is on the 23rd. And I don't know, I forget what sign it is in. Anyway, I feel like this is a cycle. The cycle is going to be... really about you giving of yourself but it's it's going to be one of those things to where I feel like it's more than that like it's being vulnerable this is about a connection that you have or that's trying to establish itself but it's about being it's trying to root itself you're guarded I feel like you're guarded and you're not wanting to You're not wanting to really show who you really are because you're afraid of... Let's see, I get it. Okay, look. With the Eight of Swords, everyone picks the... Like, the tarot card readers will pick the Eight of Swords. It's a mental cage. Uh, you're just stuck in your own thoughts, that type of thing. I call it the Paranoia card. The reason I call it the Paranoia card, but at the same time calling it the Paranoia card, I will say too, and I try to say this, is I get it. Because when you're kicked... When you're down and you're kicked enough, you build up this inability to trust people right away. So there's a wall that comes up. When the wall comes up, it's hard to give of yourself. Like it's, it's hard to be vulnerable to someone. It's hard to put yourself in a position where they could kick you again. Especially when you believe that there's some part of you that believes, well, I deserve being kicked. You know, it, unforgiveness towards yourself. This could be regrets. I mean, that needs to be healed. But, you know, nobody deserves to be used, manipulated. And, and, yeah, you say what I'm saying. But anyway. So, I get it. Like, I feel like the Eight of Swords huge. I can see it in my head. So it's a mental cage, but at the same time, look, spark. 34 reduces down to 7 number of creation. Spark. What did I tell you? There's connection here that's wanting to establish itself. Wanting to build a foundation. Dragon's Lair. 19. This is reduces down to 10. Close down a cycle. Begin a new cycle. This is also about being protected.
and wishing well. 48 reduces down to 12, which reduces down to 3 is the number of divinity. Um, this is about asking, this is about figuring out what you want, asking for it, but really releasing it to where it's not yours. It's not yours, like, how do I explain this? Oh, uh, it's been a long day. Anyway. This is not a holding on attachment to outcomes. That's, you know, it's about having faith, about dropping the pinnacle in the well, making a wish. You know what I'm saying? Setting your intentions, but you're protected. There is the beginning of something here, though. That little spark can, it wants to build, wants to take root. You just have yourself guarded right now. And you, I feel like you've been kicked a lot. Okay, anyway. Six of Cups, Two of Swords, Star, Ten of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. You see that? Three of Wands, Death, Knight of Pentacles, Empress, Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Empress is not your energy. It's not your energy. Six of Cups. Okay, listen. Usually you see Six of Cups immediately. It's someone from your past. Okay, look. That's not how I interpret Six of Cups. Okay. I interpret Six of Cups as Five of Cups is stepping into the past and turning questions for yourself, okay? Six of Cups is taking that knowledge and everything you've learned from your past, stepping into now and keeping that with you. So all the lessons and everything, um, the changes that you've made, the progression, all of these moments that it, it could have been to where you were kicked, where you were betrayed, where you were lied to, all of that. And you're bringing the lessons with you. You're not carrying the bitterness though. See what I mean? So you're carrying the lessons to where you're, you're protected. You, the cups when it, with the six of cups is sharing that wisdom of what you've learned in the past, your past. But this is stepping into the now with all of that knowledge and all of that wisdom and carrying it. So when you come up to this crossroads, two of swords, this being vulnerable, this walking away from them, do you see this? Empress, this is not your energy, okay? We'll get back to that. But when it comes to them, this crossroads is going to be easier because you're going to have to carry those things, those pieces of wisdom that you learned from your past. The reason I take it as Six of Cups bringing, you know, all that wisdom with you is that most of the time, the lessons that we learn are emotionally based lessons. If it, if it's emotional, if it drives us one way or another, makes us angry, it, um, it stirs up love, it's, it, you know, pain, you know, any sort of emotional reaction, that's how we learn our lessons. 
that's where the wisdom comes from. That's where the knowledge is gained, is that emotional reaction to that. So, this is going to help you make that decision. Now, you got the star. Now look, this is about healing, but it's about getting attention, okay? It's also about being the bright and shining star that you are. It's about being authentically you and shining in the sky, being who you are, where you're supposed to be, finding your place in the sky, in the cosmos, and it's being that person. This is about growth. This is about recognition. This is about being seen, okay? But... You have to be vulnerable in order to be seen. You get me? It's the only way you're really going to be seen is to be vulnerable. This person will see you. There's no gender in tarot. The emperors could be anybody. I'll get back to that. Now, the two things you have to, like the one thing you have to let down. So you got two tens here. Ten of Wands and Ten of Pentacles. And what this is, is Ten of Wands is a lot of words under the bridge. This is people telling you you couldn't do it. This is like that verbal assault from other people that you've taken, put it in your backpack, and you allowed it to weigh you down to the point to where it becomes a burden. And you're going to have to put it down. But... This is the thing. Just like Ten of Swords in the Spirit Song Tarot, where the Ten of Swords is represented by a snake, where the snake sheds its skin because it sheds the negativity, it sheds the offense, but it keeps the lesson and the wisdom from each incident. Like, it keeps that. The Ten of Wands, though, I feel like... Everything that people said to you or against you negatively, negat I cannot even speak tonight. Negative, anything said that was negative against you. I'll just put it that way. You used it to prove them wrong. Ten of Pentacles is about stability. It's about long-term stability. It's about putting away for the future. This is planning for the future. So everything they've said to you, you've proven them wrong. You've gone above and beyond to do this. So making that accomplishment, why are you, because you're afraid of losing it all? Because you've worked hard to get to this place, okay? So with the Three of Wands in this waiting period, this is what happened. Transformation. Death card is about transformation. It's transformative energy. This is emerging from the cocoon. This is becoming something completely different. Someone completely different. Now, it, took, it was a long time coming. Like it took a minute to get there. Knight of Pentacles. It talks about delay, but it talks the Knight of Pentacles, slowest moving knight in the deck. This just means here that it took a minute to get on your feet, took a minute to really move past the kicks and the the manipulation and the people taking advantage of you. No, it's taken a minute to get there, okay? Like I said, this is not your energy. The Empress is the embodiment of all four queens. Mother of the Tarot, creative, nurturing, this is perpetually pregnant. This is pregnant with new ideas, this is birthing something new into your life, but this person that there it's trying you're trying to connect to, like there's a connection, but there it's trying to connect because you still have these walls up. You don't want to lose this. Like you don't want to lose what you built. I get it. You don't want to lose it. This energy, though, is someone that 
can live without what you've built. Um, they just want vulnerable you. I think that's the part that scares you because you know this because connecting with them has placed you in this eight of pentacles mode eight of pentacles is working on yourself this is changing yourself this is improving yourself so they've brought that out in you but there's still this hold back where you don't want to be vulnerable because there's a fear of this fear of losing this I would say <laughs> I I really would say that you're gonna have to be vulnerable to them like I really don't feel like they're a threat to you they aren't they're not a threat like you've worked hard to get where you're at I really feel like this energy of this person is big energy like yours and they could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you and they could walk away from you as easily as they can stand by you so I mean just be vulnerable for a second and see what happens I mean I would do that or even ask yourself what do I want see what I mean so for the collective sign of Aries this is your new moon in cancer read love and light